Hello everybody out there. Um, this is uh, Kirsten Buchholzer from Hamburg, Germany, together with... Ruhe! Hey, Alemans, Mans. Huh? <laughs> well, my Swedish is not so good. I'm so sorry. Um, before we get going here, we need to know whether everything is working and whether we are speaking into the void or if people are actually watching. But I can see six people are already there. Oh, so please give us a sign if you can hear us well. Um, you can just comment and uh, we can uh, see this very easily. Or clapping. And uh, yes, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and with and while we are waiting for your comment to arrive that everything is fine, we give a, a quick introduction of ourselves. So, as uh, I already said, I'm Kirsten. Um, this is my husband, Roe. And we were supposed to be with you now today in Stockholm. Um, Yes, thank you, Melissa. Thank you. Alles gut. Thank you very much. So we continue. <laughs> um, so um, we're very sorry that we couldn't make it. Actually, we were quite uh, happy uh, that we canceled uh, beginning of October because now we are all in lockdown here in Germany and it would have been quite difficult for us to return from Stockholm to Germany. Um, also, during the last two or three days, things here in Germany have been very emotional because uh, um, nothing worked out because of the lockdown. So we're going to, for another four weeks uh, in what they call a light lockdown, which is not light <laughs> at all. But never mind, uh, we, we still want to do a bit of uh, Halloween fun. And this is why we have chosen our background. Um, you can see in the background of us our lovely uh, Saint, uh, Saint Catherine's Church here in Hamburg. And I have to move a bit. You can see our witch Abelke. Abelke. <laughs> I shouldn't say this in um, English. Abelke is a famous uh, witch here in Hamburg. Um, actually, she probably wasn't a witch, uh, what they call a witch these days. Uh, she was burned on the stake in the 17th century. Actually, quite a sad story. Um, we are also doing uh, guided tours here in, in Hamburg. And tonight, Abelke is moving around for the last time before we can't do any more tours. And I thought it would be nice to, to show her and have her here for Halloween. And as you can see, she is carrying the death card, which is always a card of transformation, but also a card for moving into the other world and uh, this is what we are going to do with our reading today correct um we want to show you one reading that uh, i at least have done now for about uh, i think about uh, 15 years i tried to figure out where i got it from but i think it was first created by either mary Kay greer or rachel pollack but uh, I'm not very sure, to be honest. And uh, it's an eight card reading. We're going to show you this reading in a moment. And um, you can, I thought we all can draw a card for each position. And uh, we also will draw a card. Yes. And uh, if you have questions about the reading, then we can uh, answer some questions like you don't understand a card in one position or whatever. And if not, um, we, you have a reading and we can all go and have our lunch, whatever yes. you eat in Stockholm around this time. <laughs> okay, so any questions before we start with this? Just wait a bit because we are um, in slow uh, motion, slow, not slow motion, but uh, you get uh, to hear what I'm speaking a few seconds later. I think everything is fine. Yeah. So fine. have your cards ready. We are going to use the Röhrig deck, uh, the Röhrig deck uh, because it's one deck we both really yes. like a lot. And Karl Röhrig, who created this deck, a German um, artist, he is actually a Scorpio and we thought a Scorpio card is what we need in these times. 
Yes, delay, exa exactly. Um, I'm not sure what you mean by delay, but uh, you, ah, that I was uh, looking for the word. Thank you, yeah, thank you. <laughs> so let's switch to the reading. Um, I just gone like this and we go like that. Yay! So you can see the reading. We have done it in uh, German and in English uh, because I'm going to show it to people in Germany as well. And as you can see, we have eight cards to draw and we have all the uh, cards uh, figure, the, the positions are all, all named. If you uh, want to have this PDF later, it's no problem to send it to you or I can put it into the group so you can come back to it if you feel like it, probably do this best. And um, so you all should have your cards ready by now because I think it's a nice thing to do it together. And uh, perhaps we all, do you want to shuffle the cards? Yes, Yes, please. you shuffle the cards and I talk. Um, <laughs> Great, Danielle. So it's, it's great that you're here. Um, the recording stays uh, here, so you can come back to what we've said before. Um, so we are all going to shuffle our cards now together. And perhaps, uh, yes, think about the quality of this very strange time. We have a very intense full moon coming up in a few hours, I think uh, just before 16 o'clock German time we have the full moon Taurus Scorpio and uh, we are on the peak of something we have all experienced during this year we have still Mercury retrograde until Monday Tuesday depending on where you live we still have retro uh, Mars retrograde until the 9th of November so it's all very nice tense time. right now we don't know um, we, we're thrown back to a lot of stuff from the past and perhaps the other world has some answers for us, us um, yeah, what we uh, are to learn from this. But this reading is more about to look into the future, not so much into the past. We are to get uh, answers from the other world, what we need to do during the next half year until Beltane which is uh, Walpurgis in Germany until the summer, uh, according to the Celtic law, begins again. And the first card we all drew, draw will be the issue we will have in this next six months with the other world. Um, I'm not going to show, I, 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 perhaps we don't turn the cards around yet but just put them down into the position on a table because if we already turn them around, we will have a reaction to the cards and this will influence the next cards we are drawing. So number one is the issue with the other world, my issue with the other world for the next six months. The next card we're going to draw is my otherworldly contact for this issue. Who is out there in the other realm in order, with whom I can get into contact in order to tackle the issue before me? This is our second card. Our third card is what I have to let go, what I have to sacrifice in order to yeah, get done the issue at hand, which uh, me and the other world are asking um, to do for the next six months. And I have been given this card. Where do I put it? Aha. Uh -huh. One, two, three. The next card is what we are going to plant, to begin in order to, um, to sow in German as well, in order to get this issue done. So we have a card for letting go and a card for sewing out for beginning. And the fifth position is the um, important, wait, um, wait, there is a question. Yes, um, 
before uh, I, I give just uh, Melissa, just uh, draw your cards first and then I will explain. I'm sure your subconscious will work. I don't want to interrupt the reading right now, but I will explain afterwards. Okay. Okay. So the next card, the number fifth, five is um, the important soul aspect with as a, so the aspect of my soul which can be developed because uh, I work some issues out with the other world. I come back to this, Melissa, in a moment. But please draw now card number five. Card number six is what my contact, so number two, the otherworldly contact, give, uh, gives me as a present when I get in touch with him, her, or it, whatever it is. So this is card number six. And number seven is what I give the contact in the other world. There is an exchange in between me and the other world. Uh, what I give to this contact. This is card number seven. And number eight is the contact's expectation. So what does the contact expect from me? Uh, why is this contact contacting me? Why does this entity, whatever it is, want to work with me within the next six months? So there is a motivation from me, which is position one, and a motivation from the contact, which is position eight. So we have now eight cards and coming back to Melissa's question, I would like to say um, that the idea behind this reading is that I'm sure you have talked about this already at another workshop or are aware of this, that during the time of Sawen, Halloween, right now, today, but also in the next few days, beginning of November, where, where we have all the feasts of the dead, um, getting in touch with the dead is an important issue. Um, but it's not only the dead which can be contacted during this time, it can be also the um, otherworldly, uh, otherworldly entities uh, like... Um, ghosts, like uh, fairies, like, uh, I don't know, um, demons even. That's why we have the Halloween celebrations where uh, the kids come up in costumes and uh, um, have a feast and try to, to trick us into giving them th some stuff. So what position one means out there, uh, no, no, sorry, position one means that everybody of us, each of us, has a con has issues with this world on the other side. There are entities who want to work with us, who want to help us develop, or who want to hinder us uh, to develop. We don't know. And on the day like we are here today, we have the ability to cross the line between this world and the other world. And on the, the side of the other world, something or somebody is waiting and this is um this is position one uh this person or whatever it is is waiting in order to tell us for the next six months you have to work on this issue and you will develop more you will understand spirituality more you will understand the other world more that's the thought behind the reading. Melissa, I hope you under could understand this. Is this okay for you? Um, I'm just waiting for a comment from you. And I guess ev and if everybody has drawn their cards now. And uh, what we are going to do now is to show you our reading so that you um, can have a few thoughts about it and... Uh, we haven't seen our reading yet, so I'm a bit excited as well. Um, True. And um, if you have questions for your reading, you can then ask your questions. Okay, great, Melissa. Um, 
going back to the other um, other scene so you can see us better and um, number one was here <laughs> number one was first oh, yeah, yeah number one was <laughs> position up very good interesting do you want to show the card yes I will do this. number one so this is the Röhrig card very interesting um, the fool and Roy and I, we identify a lot with the Röhrig Fool. As you can see, there is a, an image of um, uh, an older man and a younger woman melting together. They are, not, uh, they are still quite separated. And the card always um, tells us that we are supposed to unite uh, male and female aspects within us, masculine and feminine aspects within us. But regarding the underworld, uh, the, the other world, what would you say this is uh, an issue with the other world? You have to an do, idea? To do everything. To do everything? Yeah, the fool. They can do everything. It's very interesting. Look at the card. The, male, the female is on my side, the male is on your side. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah, it's quite, quite nice the way we're sitting with the card in between us. Um, we don't want to go too deep into the reading. We just want to give you an inkling now. Um, my idea is that uh, perhaps also this is a contact from the other side. So we are um, getting uh, fresh inspiration from the other side or grow more wise from the other side. There is a giving and taking between two qualities, right? Male, female. And, and uh, to take everything what the, um, what the fool you can. Genau, we get and we take everything mm, the fool can give us. Interesting. So this is our first position. I, I quite like this. I put it back so I can see it later. Okay. We will put our reading later into the group as well. The second one I haven't prepared for this was <coughs> sorry. I, I didn't I didn't uh, re don't remind I remember the uh, positions. Uh, the second position is ah the otherworldly contact itself. So please show the otherworldly contact. That's Röhrig's. You have to. Um, that's the princess of uh, cups. So I quite like sorry. this because we had the fool before and this young woman. So. Perhaps we are the old <laughs> guys and the contact is no, the young woman. The, the, the inspiration comes back. It's full of, of uh, inspiration and uh, cups and this water. It's flushy. It's get us. Yeah, so actually, the new, new uh, feelings. Yeah. So actually, since we are quite uh, getting old with all the emotion happening outside and inside of us, we can get fresh input from the other world. I quite like this fresh inspiration. That's a good idea. Plus, we have actually a person there. And if you have a person in this position, you might want to work with this card for a while, meditate with it and see whether this card directly gives you some contact, uh, some, some ideas what you can do within the next six months. Junge Inspiration and unabhängig von weiblich oder männlich. So, yeah, it's, it's not about male, yeah, okay. female, but it's about a fresh, lively inspiration. In other decks, it's the, the, the page, uh, the, yeah, the, the page of uh, cups. So, then the third card, I have to look again at what the third card is, is letting go. What do we have to let go? I'm very curious. Ah, oh. <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune in the Röhrig deck. Du kannst das ruhig ein bisschen mehr, so dass yeah. wir uns beide sehen. Um, the, the, the Wheel of Fortune for me says, uh, we have to let go of the thought that we can manipulate fate right now. I mean, we are quite in a time right now where we can try whatever we want to try. There are such hindrances out there that it's uh, that it is a time where we have to let go of yeah creating our own fortune right now. This is my idea. Yeah, we uh, I always say with this card, you are master and mistress of your own fortune. But actually, perhaps it is not the time for uh, 
doing this and it's really about letting go in a time where the world is in a great upheaval yeah. right and i know the fourth position <laughs> this is what we are supposed to plant i'm already shaking the waters here <laughs> what's the position what are we supposed to plant to begin oh that's very interesting it's judgment in the Röhrig position and I have to come back to the fool because in the uh, fool we have this face which is torn apart male female but here in this card we have a face which is perfectly uh, fitted we have on the so, yeah. one side a male side and on the other side we have a female side so here these two are also for once exchanged from left to right and the 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 the, the faces are melted together to one perfect face this is what we're trying is what we're supposed to do well we can't do much outside right now we can grow more together mm. Roy and i our okay. business and our private life but also the intentions germany exactly germany and sweden <laughs> but also <laughs> the intentions of the other world and us so what we're supposed to learn from them very interesting reading i have to say okay i hope you're all still with us because now i have to look up position four or uh, five and this is important soul aspect so the next card you're also looking at from your point of view is what soul aspect is supposed to be developed during these times your personal soul <laughs> soul aspect eight of cups that's a quite sad card actually but uh, Roy and I are very uh, impatient people and right now we're learning that sometimes we have to be patient and go through hard emotional times it's again like the wheel of fortune without being able yeah. to do much about it right yeah and i think our uh, stuff for the next time is to cut this uh, uh, things in the card to, to get rid of the spider webs yeah, yeah. it's quite a halloween card with yeah. the spider webs and actually we could see a veil there yeah. so perhaps it is about uh, working uh, more with the other side with the whale i have to say that rory and i are not really doing lots of stuff with uh, we say jenseits contact in german with uh, working with the other side um so perhaps we are asked to do this more maybe we can do it. think about that Okay, the next card, the next position is number six. What is the present, the gift from the other world? Oh, I have to look actually whether I drew the correct card here. Uh, ah, it's the position up downwards. Okay, so this one. <laughs> Uh, you, you, you changed it okay the gift is perfect for us <laughs> the gift is money <laughs> i like king that <laughs> um yeah it's the king of discs which we're seeing here so actually the gift is if you do more with me with the contact you can earn perhaps more money but you can also materialize uh, more power, more recognition, or whatever in the world. You can, you can get everything more. Everything. Look at the card. Everything which is about uh, material aspects of life, though. Uh, one one thing I find interesting, for example, that we can now uh, talk to Swedish people and do tarot readings with them, or British, or whatever people. Mm -hmm. And even though we are socially distancing now, we can get closer and get to know each other better and this is something nice which is happening during these very strange times um, and we will see once the ban is broken and we are again all able to move and to travel um, we can bring together what we now experience virtually uh, before you go to the next card 
and explain is here insoluble. Okay, um, one thing important about this yeah. card, I try, try to bring it closer because it's written down in English, is he has this uh, band around his uh, um, face which says, I bring healing, bodily yeah. healing. So we actually have a message from the other world, yeah. from the contact. Um, quite spooky, <laughs> I have to say. Hi, all you who are watching now. <laughs> there are some new Number people seven. watching. Um, next card is position seven, which is here. And position seven is what we in this is, is uh, under these circumstances, but uh, you out there are giving to your contact. Oh, <laughs> well. Um, <laughs> um, Yes, Christine, uh, Christine, you can ask a question. Just, um, just put it down and I come back to your question as soon as possible. I just want to get through this reading quickly and afterwards we're doing questions anyway. Um, so this is not such a nice gift we give them. Do you? What do you think? <laughs> um, well, I, I think it's, it's, a, it's a very good gift, gift because if you give... Uh, something back and it's it's worst so this is a worst gift but if you think about what we will give then it's a perfect uh, present that you have go give back i think these cards will show us do you uh, think about what will we will give back before you give anything well yeah yeah okay i can understand this um, I also think, again, we have this kind of veil here. Something is yeah. clouded. So perhaps we can help the contact find its way more into this world, which is a material world with a seven of yes, this. this, this That's is also, also an idea. So because we had this eight of cups, both are not so happy, but wailing cards. So it's yeah. about making yeah, the correct. whale more open to everybody. That's correct. Yes, and the last uh, position is, again, I have to look again, the context expectation from uh, for, for us. What does the contact want from me? Oh. <laughs> um, in uh, Usually I say this is my orgasm card. <laughs> So I don't know whether this is what the contact <laughs> wants from us, okay. but um, actually it is about, uh, yeah, as, as we just said before, about getting closer, this world and the other world mm. coming more together, breaking, breaking the bonds between the two worlds, I would say. That's quite interesting. It's very interesting. It's also a wheel into, into it. Yeah. Then, yeah, exactly. We have another um, card, uh, a wheel. Yeah. So breaking, breaking the wheel and of fate. And the is also And yeah, yeah. And the stein. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, this could be an answer. Well, as you can see, um, it's good to to do such a reading together. We have uh, both different ideas, and this is coming together. And later on, once we are. Um, back uh, out of the virtual world again we will look more at this reading it's quite an interesting reading i think and uh, now Nine. it's time for Sister, yeah. it's time for uh, looking at your questions i need to put my glasses on for this christine is asking um, i would like to know about my connection with the play pladians um Yes, I, I mean, you can't, you, you actually could do this in this reading, if you do the reading. Um, have you had, uh, have you done this reading and uh, what's in position, let me see, um, what's Sorry. in position two? If you asked especially about the Pleiadians, position two would show you what... Uh, um, this contact is like and it also tells you what the expectations are in position eight right so i would look at these two cards christine 
Are there any other questions? Hi, was it so difficult to find us? I thought we were on the top of the page uh, in, oh, uh, really? well, uh, in, the, in the Stockholm Facebook group. But, <laughs> but never mind, uh, Janneke, you can watch this video still after um, we are yeah. off again. Are there any more questions out there for the reading or comments or something we, you want us to look at? Um, Debbie says, uh, thank you. My cards made total sense to me and in line with what I am currently doing. Melissa is still a bit confused about the difference between position four and five. Um, I need to look up what's position four and five again. Four is planting and five is important soul aspect. Yes. Um, Melissa. The, the planting is kind of what we have in all readings. Usually we have some, some position. Get rid of this. Don't look at this any longer. Let it go. That's position three. And position four then is instead of looking at old stuff, what's new to be done right now? What do I need to bring into the world now according to this... Uh, wish from the other world and position uh, five then is again I forgot it again what's the contact uh, the, what the contact wants no, no sorry it's uh, too much for me today important, important soul aspect and because if you're letting go and if you're planting something within you an aspect of your soul is growing or developing yeah. that's what's the different what the different is you're not planting a soul aspect you can also plant i don't know um a shop or whatever but you're developing a soul aspect because of this so christine just said that the hermit is her um, um contact so that's quite interesting contact it means mm -hmm. It is a, he is uh, showing you where to go. He puts a light in his window, so to speak, but you have to make an effort to go towards him. Uh, he's not coming to you. You have to find him. This is what I say to this. Um, Bur um, Burrett has, uh, I hope I pronounce this right, has the devil in position six. So that's interesting. And position six is the soul aspect. Was it the soul aspect? Oh, I think so. he, no, it's a for... gift. Well, yeah. that's a very nice gift, Bert, I would say, um, because it means that you are allowed to develop your the sites which you don't like so much within you. You're allowed to, to, to look at some aspects from uh, uh, which you shy away at times. And also, it's a very nice card because my favorite keywords, and I think yours too, for this card are sex, drugs, and rock and roll. So it's always about temptation, of course, this card, but it's also about learning one, one, oneself better than one used to mm. know oneself before. And to look about your black signs. Yeah, exactly. It's seductive, but very interesting. So enjoy the ride. <laughs> um, Danielle is... Uh... Yes, Danielle, you can watch the video all the time. It's staying in the group um, and uh, no problem. Just watch us later. And I also put, as I said in the beginning, the, the layout of the reading into the group. So no worries here. And you can always contact us also via Facebook um, if you have an issue with it. So Melissa understands the reading. Danielle has the Queen of Swords reversed in my, uh, con is my contact. Depends on what you do with reversals, uh, Danielle. I myself am not so much working with reversals. I, I would suggest uh, you don't read, read it as reversed right now. It's enough that you have the Queen of Swords as a contact. That's a, a mature woman 
who can help you, in my opinion, uh, get rid of aspects in your past with which you are not happy. She's very good with cutting away old stuff. It's an intellectual personality. She's a good advisor for in, in crisis situation. She's not so good with emotional stuff, but she's very clear uh, when it comes to making decisions. So very good contact. Königin der Schwerter? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's perfect to, do, to put away a mask. Yeah, I mean, this woman we have here in the back, Abelke, she's a bit like this. <laughs> Like Röhrig. Yeah. In, in Röhrig, uh, Ro is just showing this is the Queen of Swords in Röhrig. Yeah. And um, put she puts away. away her masks yeah. and she finds herself on a deeper level. Yeah. She's often in the air and not on the ground. And you can see of all masks her brain. You, we can see her brain? The brain over there. In, 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 by the first car, uh, mask, you see the brain over there. Uh -huh. The second mask, you see the brain. Sorry, you see the brain over here. Uh -huh. And here, and you see the brain over here. I've never yeah. seen this. That's a bit gory. <laughs> okay. You have to look about it. Depending on which Queen of Swords you have. <laughs> um, Christine is saying thank you. Um, Danielle, yes, actually, it could be your mother. Um, the Queen of Swords is quite often the mother. If you are working with. Uh, dead uh, contact, uh, contact uh, from the realm of the dead, yes, um, perhaps she wants to talk to you about some issues um, regarding yourself, but also what she uh, still wants to communicate to you could be. We, ha we are in a very mysterious time right now. And uh, Katharina is asking, I got the Ten of Swords in a proposition five, important soul aspect. How would you uh how would you think what, what would I, we would think about this um the in the important soul aspect uh, ten of swords for me this means that i have to uh develop more my aspect of uh, initiation of going into um the world which is not material I'm just thinking of the weight card right now, where I can see this man lying down, being mm. um, sec being um, um, killed by his mind. But because he is, his mind is dead and he can't think really anymore, he has the ability to open. Mm. Again, the veil is open to the other world and he can have experiences over higher than the mind, spiritual experiences. Um, for me, the Ten of Swords has always been a card of initiation in which we learn it's not so much my body, which is important, but what my soul wants to develop. So it's quite a spiritual development you are asked to do. And uh, let perhaps you have also other cards which, which say, let go of too many material issues. Would you agree? No? Uh, für mich ist äh, zehn Schwerter bei Weht äh, ganz klar, dass wie bei der ähm, Kabbalah, dass du von oben nach unten gehen kannst und wieder zurück. Weil die zehn Schwerter stecken genau im Rückgrat drinnen, dort wo sonst äh, deine Punkte sind, die du auch hast äh, äh, bei den Chakren. Ja, yeah, um, but I, I, I also um, translate what, what Rory says. He's comparing the Ten of Swords to the Tree of Life in the Kabbalah and that the Ten of Swords is kind of uh, in Malkut, so in the last Sephira. But from this on, we can move upwards into Correct. the spiritual realm. But this is not def totally different from what I say because I say it's not so important what's down here, but more it's like guiding us upwards and into the spiritual realm i would okay. say okay okay um danielle uh, danielle says still that the queen uh, of swords has been appearing for a few days now in her reading so yes i would say there's definitely a message for you from your mother out there very yeah very uh, i get the shivers <laughs> <laughs> um, Katharina is understanding as well. Good. Yes. 
Um, number 10. Number 10. I'm not sure what you mean by number 10, Danielle. Um, are there any other questions right now for um, um, the reading? Ah, okay. Yeah, that could be. I understand what you're saying, Danielle. Yeah. Um, I think uh, that's all we can give you today for um, as a reading. We just uh, wanted to show you this reading. Um, but uh, we still stay a bit here if there are more questions coming up. And if there are no more questions, you can have your break before the next work stop is a uh, workshop. <laughs> My God. <laughs> The next workshop is starting and um, we are looking forward very much to meet you all in May in Stockholm. Yes. We're yes. really, really hoping that until then, that's six months uh, uh, in advance once this reading is through, we can all meet up together and have loads of uh, fun and joy together and uh, broaden our minds and uh, be European again instead of being different nations. <laughs> <Dein Blick. laughs> yeah, anyway, so I think there are no more questions. Just let me look. Um, if you still have questions later on, just put them into um, your content, uh, into this uh, video. We will uh, come back to the video and see whether there are more questions or contact us directly and um, yeah have a very good time oh there's one more card in the gift from me position melissa says i got the lovers card yeah that's quite a nice card isn't it you are very open if this actually is your mother no that was not you with the mother um if you're just giving the other world your your heart um you're opening up to the other world and uh, perhaps can unite more with aspects there, I would say. Still trying to figure out who my contact could be. Um, yes, if you're wanting, I mean, we have done this now for 20 minutes. If you want to find out more about your contact, take the card out, put it next to a candle use a full moon which is coming up in uh, now two hours and perhaps when you do a quick meditation then or a slow one you will find your answers and if you haven't found then your answer leave the card outside for some more time and um, you will get your answer i'm sure about that yes yes uh, it, it will work i think okay so that's all from Dimantica for today. Yeah, correct. Have a great time with your other workshops and uh, just let's celebrate Halloween however we yeah. can do it. Thank you very much for your watching and uh, don't forget don't forget never give up. <laughs> Bye.